Hello everyone welcome to our news channel. Here you are always well informed. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, I ask you to please subscribe. Leave your like and thank you very much. Stephen Yoon and Ali Wong have joined beef creator Lee Sung Jin in responding to the David Cho controversy. The controversy involving beef actor David Cho has been addressed by the creator and stars of the hit Netflix series. In the series, Cho plays Isaac Cho, a recently released prisoner and the cousin of Stephen Yoon's Danny Cho. Behind the scenes, Cho also provided the artwork for nine of the ten episodes' title cards. When the series was released on Netflix, there had been some backlash on social media over Cho's involvement. This was due to resurfaced comments made by the actor and artist on a podcast in 2014. Speaking with Tvdasa co-host Asa Akira, Cho told a story about sexually assaulting a massage therapist, joking that this made him a successful rapist. Soon after, he clarified in a statement that the story wasn't true, saying it was tasteless storytelling done in an effort to provoke the co-stars of his podcast. It's a dark, tasteless, completely irreverent show where we f asterisk 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 with everyone listening, but mostly ourselves, Cho said in part in his statement at the time. We create stories and tell tales. I'm sorry if anyone believed that the stories were fact. They were not. In a world full of horrible people, thank God for us. In a separate statement released in 2017, Cho said he had since undergone three years of recovery and rehabilitation as he reflected on his comments. He reiterated that the story he told on the podcast was simply for shock value and stressed that it was a fabricated story, again apologizing for his words and now agreeing that sexual assault is not a topic that should ever be joked about. I am deeply sorry for any hurt I've brought to anyone through my past words, he said. Non-consensual sex is rape and it is never funny or appropriate to joke about. I was a sick person at the height of my mental illness and have spent the last three years in mental health facilities healing myself and dedicating my life to helping and healing others through love and action. How does one apologize for a lifetime of doing wrong? Through my past three years of recovery and rehabilitation, I've attempted to answer that question through action and understanding. In my life I've struggled deeply with an unnatural amount of hatred I've had towards myself. Most of my life I've been a scared hurt shame-filled person, trying to mask my insecurities with false confidence and an outwardly negative behavior to validate myself as worthy. In a 2014 episode of Tvdasa, I relate a story simply for shock value that made it seem as if I had sexually violated a woman. Though I said those words, I did not commit those actions. It did not happen. I have zero history of sexual assault. I am deeply sorry for any hurt I've brought to anyone through my past words. Non-consensual sex is rape and it is never funny or appropriate to joke about. I was a sick person at the height of my mental illness and have spent the last three years in mental health facilities healing myself and dedicating my life to helping and healing others through love and action. I do not believe in the things I have said although I take full ownership of saying them. Additionally, I do not condemn anyone or have any ill will towards those who spread hate and speak out negatively against me, no one will ever hate me more than I hated myself back then. Today I've learned to love and forgive others just as much as myself. It's been a rough journey but I am grateful to be alive and to dedicate myself to shining the light I have found within myself and live in service and gratitude. I am truly sorry for the negative words and dark messages I had put out into the world.